usually when two two dice uh is involved, right? You what you do is you just draw the diagram out. Okay. So Alfred and Bertie play the game. And and you're talking about the total score. So suggest just draw one, two, three. Uh, so hard to draw. Okay. Die number one, die number two. Die number one is more. It's not. So X is the effort pay, pays X amount. So die number one. Line number two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then Hello. okay. How? What is this? Five or more. Then Alfred pays X when zero to eight. Total score. So you just add the total score here. D1 plus D2. There's two, four, six, eight, then 12. Good job, Mr. Gun. Okay, any question? Actually, this one shouldn't have any question. Uh. This one, if you have question, I don't know what to say. So what, what I'm doing here is I just sum up. Here is actually just total score of two dice. Okay. So what we're going to do is this one here. Um, Alfred pays X when uh, zero to eight, if, if five or more. Lah. If the total score is four or less, Bertie pays Alfred. So basically now is, there are only two cases, either Bertie pays Alfred or Alfred pays Bertie, right? So show that expectation of Alfred cash after the first game is this one. Find expectation of Alfred's cash after six games. Okay, great. The first thing is I, I, I'm going to let A be the gain in a gamer for Alfred. Meaning I don't talk about the 100 bucks. I talk about the gain. Because you see, this is a, it starts with $100. Every time they play, there's a transaction between Alfred to Bertie, right? So that transaction is what I, I am keen to find out what is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let... Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm going to let A be the profit slash loss uh, profit, uh, profit of a game, a uh, uh, profit of Alfred in a game. Okay, so this... This profit can be negative one. Ah. Okay, is it too small? I think it's too small, right? Let me just increase the size. Uh, uh. Okay, this is important. Ah. So let A be the profit of Alfred in a game. So that is what, I, what I'm going to do. So this case here, I'm going to calculate it. I'm going to tabulate it. So if this is A, there are only two ways. I like this game. There's only two ways to, to go about it. Either Alfred lose money or Alfred win money. So A, P, A equals to A. You have got Alfred pays X dollars, meaning that will be negative X, right? Then Alfred, then Bertie pay Alfred X plus A. So A, is, uh, 
x and minus x plus a. A minus x and okay, great job. So so if the five or more effort pace, five or more, huh? so you count how many fives are there? Lo? Here? Here is this is effort pace. This portion here is uh okay, so Berti pace is quite straightforward. Lah. Berti pace is actually 2, 4, 6, 6 out of 36. Then effort pace is 30 out of 36. Just count how many of them. Okay, but you can only count when the weightage is the same. Lah. It's a fair die, that's why it's all the same. But if it's not the fair die, you need to slowly calculate each uh, chances for each box. Okay, so this is it. Um, show that expectation of cash out of the first game is this one. So, cash after first game is 100 plus A. $100, so I start with $100. Um, first game. So expectation of cash out of the first game will just be 100 plus EA. EA is just uh, Mm. One. Mm. Okay, that's quite okay. <clears throat> okay, if you want, you can put the A1 here. Cash after six game. Cash after six game is 100 plus A1, plus A2, all the way to A6. Huh? Okay, this is the proper way of writing it. Not 6A, not 6A. It's A1 plus A2, all the way to A6. Okay? It's not a multiplication. Huh? So, this is done. Life is good. Uh, so, 6 game will be just be... Two eight one oh eight. 